Hey, retro gamers. Welcome back to your favorite monthly rendezvous, the Bato Sera Monthly Digest. Buckle up, because today we've got some exciting news, including an awesome Lindbergh update, brand new engines, and as always, fresh emulator upgrades to keep your gaming sessions epic. Ready to dive in? Let's roll. All right, first big update, and you just saw it in the intro, is the arrival of a new engine on Batocera. This great addition lets you rediscover the classic shooter Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, originally released back in 2002. Medal of Honor quickly became legendary thanks to its immersive gameplay and realistic World War II atmosphere. Now on Batocera, you can now enjoy this iconic FPS along with its expansions, breakthrough, and spearhead, running smoother than ever with enhanced visuals and modern resolutions. For installation details, check out the info.txt file in your ROM slash MOHA folder. Basically, grab the game from GOG, copy the main folder into your Batocera ROM slash MOHAA folder, and remember to add the emulation station launcher provided in the info file. Next up, and this is a big one, let's talk about the Lindbergh loader. This fantastic loader keeps getting better, and recently, we've seen some really major improvements. Two standout titles, Too Spicy and House of the Dead EX, have now received important resolution patches. Before these fixes, the games were simply unplayable. The screen wasn't displaying properly at all, making it impossible to enjoy them. But thanks to the new resolution patches, both games now run normally, with clean visuals and smooth gameplay. You can finally experience these rare Sega arcade shooters the way they were meant to be. And there's even more good news. The sound issues on Ghost Squad Evolution have also been corrected. Now you get full sound effects and music, restoring the complete arcade atmosphere. It's a huge step forward for Lindbergh emulation on Batocera, and we can't wait to see what's coming next. All right, retro gamers. Next, we've added an Auric Atmos emulator to Batocera. The Auric Atmos launched in 1984 by Tangerine Computer Systems as a budget-friendly home computer. It was significantly cheaper than many of its competitors. Under the hood, it packs a 1 MHz CPU and up to 48 kilobytes of RAM, with a built-in Microsoft Basic that made it super easy for hobbyists and budding developers to write and share their own code. And here's a little tidbit. It was on this very machine that developer Eric Chae got his start. The same creative mind behind the fabulous Another World. All right, next, we've improved how ScumVM games launch on Batocera. Now, if you simply leave your game folder with a .scumVM extension, Bato Sarah's auto detection will kick in and load the correct game ID automatically. No more manual tweaks. Just drop your folder in and you're good to go. Want to choose a specific language or version? You can force a particular game ID by adding its exact name inside your .scum VM file. This is super handy for titles that ship with multiple languages or variants. Just specify the game ID and Bato Sarah will load exactly the version you want. If you've been following the channel, you've already seen some of the other big new additions to Bato Sarah. First up, we now have full PlayStation 4 game support via the latest Shaddy P's 4 integration, so you can dive into modern console classics alongside your retro favorites. We've also added the DICE emulator, bringing you right back to the dawn of arcade gaming in the 1970s by emulating those classic discrete circuit titles. And for Star Wars fans, Batocera now includes dedicated engines for Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, and Jedi Academy, letting you experience these iconic Star Wars shooters natively with enhanced performance and stability. Finally, we've updated a bunch of emulators under the hood. Here's a non-exhaustive list of what's been refreshed in the latest butterfly release of Bato Sera. All right, retro gamers, that wraps up our Bato Sera monthly digest for this episode. Be sure to dive into the full changelog on Bato Sera's GitHub to catch every tweak and improvement we didn't cover here. If you found this video helpful, 
Smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. You can also support the channel by sharing the video with fellow retro fans and dropping a comment below with your favorite new feature. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon for another deep dive into the world of Bato Serra.